Well, it is the time of year where many of us head to the mountains to see the fall colors. Don't be surprised if along with the leaves you also see some bears. That's right. Tonight, wildlife officials have a warning. Keep your distance and keep food to yourself and away from the bears. <laughs> CBS 17's Maggie Newland digging deeper into what you should do and should not do if you come across one. This bear wandering through a Raleigh front yard on a spring day definitely caught neighbors' attention. While it's pretty unusual to spot a bear in the triangle, if you're heading to the mountains this fall, don't be surprised if you see several. The mountains of North Carolina really are bear country. There's a lot of bears out there. Fallon Owens, the extension wildlife biologist with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, says bears generally aren't interested in people, but they are interested in food. They're very, very heavily food motivated. So the biggest um, important thing that people can know is don't let bears get a hold of food. Bears have been found eating from bird feeders and on people's porches, even going right up to the back door. It's really important for bear safety and human safety to make sure bears don't want to approach us for food sources. When bears are actively going into neighborhoods because they know that they can find easy foods there, that increases the chance of, of the chances that bears and cars are going to, you know, collide. <laughs> if you do come across a bear, Owen says keep your distance. They're not really interested in interacting with us. Certainly if the bear is looking at you and its behavior is changing because of how close you are, you want to back up. Back up, but don't run. With any wild animal, you never want to run away from it because that might make them curious and interested in following you. With plenty of space, she says it's okay to enjoy the view. Never approach it. Um, admire it from a safe distance. They're really cool animals. For more information on what to do if you see a bear, you can head to our website, cbs17.com. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.